Oh, hello. Great news. I got my most anticipated packages. Yes, I got my Fitbit Sense, which I will unbox for you all. And Pixel Buds. Oh my goodness, you have no idea how excited I am. I am in session right now. I'm actually on a break for a minute and a half. I'm going back. So after all my meetings, after this, which is an hour from I'm now, sorry. I will be unboxing it and I'll be wearing it. Oh, oh I'm so excited, so excited. Just wanted to update you all. And uh, I'll see you later. Now, which one do we go first? I guess this one because it's easier to unbox. So Pixel Buzz. I need a tool. So, there we go. That was pretty handy. It was a very well packaged box. I should show you all. But since I'm already set up here, maybe I'll show you later. Essentially, the cardboard box um, has a certain shape to it, and you just strip it open. It just expands on, it, on its own. It's magical. So, Pixel Buds, beautiful. Um, it's so pretty. I've been using AirPods for a long time, but I'm still kind of fascinated by what I'm seeing currently. And ta-da! You guys got to see it first before my own eyes. Oh, it's a little weird how it goes in. I almost did it wrong. So I almost stuck this part in, but it's this part that goes in. Actually very comfortable. It fits pretty well. So I'm gonna take that out for now. Okay. That's that, the rest of the box. Mm, different sizes of the earplug. There's uh, another USB-C. And user manual. Empty box. Okie dokie, that's the back of the box. Okay, it's in four different languages. And this is the safety manual. Let's connect, shall we? Here's my Pixel phone. Open the earbuds case. Make sure that your phone is unlocked and Bluetooth is on. Tap the Pixel Buzz pairing notification and follow the on-screen step. Hmm, wow, this is cool. See, it says, tap to pair. Earbuds will be tied to my personal email. So it's connecting. That is so cool. This is why you, you gotta be on the same ecosystem. Same OS operating system because it's just so much more seamless. Just like an AirPods with uh, iPhone. Why? It's not connected. I am suspecting it's my phone. Because my phone has been acting weird from time to time. So after checking the support page, I have all everything it requires. So I'm just going to power it off for a few minutes and power it back on, see what happens. Okay, now shall we? So this is the Fitbit Sense, the most expensive model they have currently. And uh, you're supposed to peel open from here, which I am going to do. I love the packaging, again. I love how smart and user-friendly these are, and then this just slides open. Perfect. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna leave it here. Non-obvious logo. Ooh, wait, what's happening? Oh, it opens three ways, and the watch is in the middle, and it's beautiful. How do I? I don't want to wreck this thing. Oh, you just take it out. 
And here it is. Beautiful. And there's a spare watch band. So let me put that here. Ooh, it's turning itself on. What is this? This is the charger, of course. Okay, slide it open. All right, let's let's make sure there's no additional stuff in here. Okay, this is very beautiful. And just to open here, that's right. And there you go. Beautiful. Let's see, style. Okay. So, user manual and a spare watch band. That's pretty much it. Okay, it's telling me to download the Fitbit app first. So I guess now it is time to turn on my phone again and hopefully it's gonna work properly this time. I just teared it off and on my phone it says Fitbit Sense, tap to set up this device. I certainly will tap. Once I tapped it, it leads me to the Google Play Store and asked me to download the Fitbit app, which has 50 million downloads already. Whoa. Okay, it's still downloading. I think it's time to let this one go, don't you think? And bye. This is Michael Kors Bradshaw, Michael Kors Access. Uh, this is one of the OGs of smartwatch and fashion brands combined. I still love it to this day. It's the battery that I can't deal with on this. Plus, uh, it's so heavy and I don't have additional bands that I can buy for this one. So it's not versatile as a fitness tracker. It's more of a smartwatch and I need a combination of both. And I'm adjusting the camera, by the way, so that it's the right angle. Okay, Fitbit app downloaded. Inputting my details. It says on the box, by the way, it comes with a six month free premium Fitbit membership. Apparently it's not cheap. Um, once you subscribe, it's like $10 a month. And uh, yeah. It's, we shall see if I continue, but I mean, if it's worth it in terms of the data, then I certainly wouldn't mind because this is all I care about, right? Okay, connect the back of your sensor to the magnet charging cable until it snaps into place. I'm guessing, oh, okay. In trying to connect, snapped it in you don't need to connect at all now there's a code so i'm supposed to input the code that i'm seeing on the watch so the two pairs up okay so now next step is wi-fi i'm going to choose my network perfect so it's now connected press next this process normally takes several minutes to complete. Make sure you keep sense charging and near your phone until the update is done. So I'm supposed to keep it charging. Let's plug it in, right? Okay, so I plugged it in. I felt a slight vibration. Now, isn't it the best timing to try to connect to my Pixel Buds now? So, attempt number two. Open the lid, immediately prompt me to connect. Ooh, now it's connected in a matter of like, I don't know, three, oh, here. A matter of like three seconds. Tap to finish setup. It was my phone that needed the reboot. It really happened like ever since the software updates, 
I think there's something wrong with the newest software update. That's what's messing things up for me. Welcome to your new Google Pixel Buds. Yay. And start set up. Actually, it's very much sealing my ear holes, so I can't really hear myself normally. There's no gap, which is a good thing. Find the best fit. So I think it's okay. I don't know if I need to change a size smaller. Let's keep it as is. Swipe forward on either earbud to change the volume. This was the thing that I wanted the most from AirPods, which still doesn't have, which is raise the volume. Ooh, see, as I raise the volume, as I swipe on my ear, on either ear, let me just give you, charge your earbuds in the protective case. Yes, 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 charging status, just plug it in. I believe there's wireless charging for this one too. Swipe on the screen to discover more about your earbuds. Ooh, interesting. Yes, Google Assistant is another thing I really look forward to with the Pixel Buds. Allow Google Assistant to read your notifications to you. Okay, changing access. It's ready, Google Assistant is ready. Okay. So, I am seeing left and right both 100% charged. That's awesome. It's rare when you receive a new electronics device and it's fully charged. It usually asks you to charge for hours. And in the meantime, Fitbit is still downloading. In the meantime, while we wait, let's try out the Pixel Bud. Let's play. Billie Eilish, my fave. It's definitely loud enough, finally. The gesture works very well. Love it, love it, love it. Quick update. I just try to use Google Assistant on the earbuds. It works like magic. I mean, I was telling it to play whatever music, it was telling it to start, to stop. It's very seamless. It's exactly what I'm used to on my Google Home. It's just in my ears now. That's amazing because the only time really I use earbuds is when I work out or now when I like bike. And all I want is that I can control everything by touching my earbuds and now by voice that's even like that's next level i didn't even think about that and obviously i didn't use siri so maybe that was an option before if i had i used iphones so this really gives me everything i was looking for i'm so happy now the update is complete actually there you go the band is very soft and uh, smooth and feels nice on the skin linking the app with the watch okay so i can start my free month free six month trial today i don't really need to input any special codes gotcha so minutes i'm about to go on a workout later today i mean at home probably and uh this is just perfect timing okay so this is the interface i mean I'm sure this is not new to some of you who have used Fitbit before, but it's completely new to me. So I'm trying to figure it out. I love the fact that it tracks menstrual cycles. And let's get started with that. Okay, TMI, but I'm going to input my menstrual cycle info into the watch because it's important for ladies. It's, let me change the angle. It really is. Um, and most of you watching are ladies, I believe. Okay, so it asked for your last start date, how long it lasts. 
your typical cycle 28 days or 29 or 30 or it depends on your situation and uh, how do you want to be notified so i inputted all that information if you're curious it looks like this i don't mind showing you all ladies have periods so what's there to hide i have that in now what i really want to figure out is okay it's showing 90 percent battery which is insane because it came with 60 percent by this point i can really confirm when people say like they really don't feel it it's very light on your wrist and you forget about it totally it's a day and night difference between fitbit and this one this one is a rock it's so heavy it's insane but it also looks very different it's a completely different style right so you can't really compare the two i love the fact that you can lock water lock food so that you're really very conscious with what you do and speaking of water i am thirsty so i'm gonna get some water be right back uh, it's so good to stay hydrated so there's a COVID tab which is very interesting and reminds you to stay indoors and etc okay so on the premium page you get to see that um what the premium subscription gets you which is health metrics dashboard stress management analytics guided eda sessions and sleep score details for advanced analysis what else programs for creating healthy habits wellness report for your health trends yeah so anything trends like a weekly trend is a subscription 45 mindful sessions 150 video workouts deeper personalized insights every day custom challenges for you and your friends i mean it comes with a six months free trial so i definitely will get on it see if i like it enough to uh, keep going so the button is actually a haptic feedback sort of like a touch button without a button so i've been checking out reviews where people don't really like this button so much because it's just like hard to gauge but i just pressed it for the very first time it's actually not hard at all it's just a use a little bit of force and you're good so 89 percent battery settings perfect that's the the one i was looking for don't mind my nails i am trying to grow it and not damage it a little bit more okay display max screen wake button only motion and button screen time out always on display i want to turn it on so once you turn it on it lasts about two days it says here okay so that is just an initial unboxing what I'm gonna do now is to play with it for a little bit before I can give you all an informed review of anything else. But so far I'm very happy with it. I'm just not very familiar with how to use a Fitbit. So I'm gonna learn that now. And uh, I'll charge my camera battery as well because I've been filming for quite a while and uh, I'll see you all later